Now that this nail business is handled, I should probably be getting back to executive. But maybe I'll keep poking around. Just for a little bit. Has the nail been doing anything since we restored it? Define anything. Anything unusual? Define unusual? Emily. Sorry, but the answer is a whopping yes. Now that it's whole, the nail is emitting a constant field of, well, think of it like low-level radiation. It seems to suppress any biological matter it encounters. This explains why nothing grows here and why the Bureau had to abandon the area. Prolonged exposure would certainly begin affecting neural processes. Wait. Was the field created when I cleansed the nail? I considered that, but the nail's readings are quite different from the ones I recorded at the cleanse control points. I think the nail's field is purely of its own making. In fact, I think it would passively prevent any his corruption, like the HRAs do. Which makes me wonder what actually occurred when you cleansed the nail. I've been wondering about that myself. Did the board let the Hiss corrupt the nail? Did they want me to cleanse it? If so, why? What do you know about Director Northmore? Well, uh, he was Director Trench's predecessor, and Northmore is famous for being the first board-appointed director. See, before we found the oldest house, directors were picked by committees of old men in suits, drinking cognac and smoking cigars or whatever. You know, standard, uninteresting methods. I think the word you're looking for is bureaucratic. Or antiquated. Regardless, Northmore was eventually forced to... Well, <laughs> we don't need to go into that. Strangely, the only two board-appointed directors left the position under... Uh, unusual circumstances. If the board appoints a director, then how do they retire them? I doubt they go out and buy you a gold watch. Sorry, Jesse, I, I didn't mean to imply that- Don't worry. If anyone's getting shown the door, it's them. What do you know about an entity named Former? I can't say I've heard of it. You got any details for me? Well, imagine a one-eyed bug thing. I think it was a part of the board, but then something happened, and now it's... separate? Interesting. See, I always wondered if the board was some sort of entity or a group or a conglomerate of linked consciousnesses, but this supports the group theory. Although I could have undergone some sort of corporeal exile. Too many unknowns to form a working hypothesis yet, but I can prioritize this matter in future astral dives if you think it's important. Fortune favors the prepared. Do it. I'm gonna keep looking around. I wish I could go with you, but I still need 30 hours of training before I can do field work. We'll work on that. The nail is almost repaired. You really do have a knack for this kind of work. I'm gonna keep looking around. I wish I could go with you, but I still need 30 hours of training before I can... It's the director.
trained. I guess I pass. I am very properly trained. Get out. Are they shooting movies now?
just happen? It felt like a dream. Or maybe a bad movie. You're listening to America Overnight, a beacon in the darkest recesses of possibility for more than 29 years. We have another letter from a listener. This one's unsigned, but postmarked from Toledo. It says, Dear America Overnight, I have the most wonderful appliance for your listeners. It is a miracle of God. A fondue set. A fountain. A blessed gift. Blessed is spelled with a capital B. Hmm. Go on, they write. Dive on in. It is molten hot. Perfect for meat. No signature. As far as I know, no fondue set was sent to us here at the studio. Just this letter. Wait. I think there's something else in the envelope. Some kind of black powder. With white shards in it? Bone, maybe? Karen? What is this? Karen? We're on the air, Karen. Where are you? What? Oh, is this powder in the booth? Is this... Is this ash? Oh. Oh, God. Karen? How do I cut to commercial?
see a thing. Maybe I should have thought this through. the way out up there back at the cell <sighs> thank god
it isn't my favorite director. The Rangers found a section of the containment sector in the caves, but no house shifts occur down here. Strange. I'm gonna keep looking around. I wish I could go with you, but I still need 30 hours of training before I can do field. I told you we were going to die down here! Bureau researchers do not panic, Dr. Saba. Keep monitoring those charmers and get me some actionable data. Fascinating place, isn't it? It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to the shifting, but we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable, which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery. A pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. Seems like something out of a storybook, except the heroes usually find swords, not handguns. But it is the perfect lure for someone like him. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me to spout some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. He ran it about the title being meaningless before now, calling father and all other previous directors shams, frauds, and worse. I think this place is worse for Northmore than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men and now it's handing out presents? Is it playing some sort of game? If it is, we're most certainly losing. Hell, we don't even know the rules. It's the director. 